Hello. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a method you can use to run multiple instances of the Stronghold Kingdoms client on the same computer. Now, as you might be aware, uh, the client natively prohibits you from uh, easily just launching multiple versions of Strong or multiple instances, I should say, of the Stronghold Kingdoms application. And uh, this is for a rather good reason because people can't abuse it, but you can easily bypass it. And that is done by downloading an application called Sandboxy. Now, we're here on their website right now, and the link to that website will be in the description below this. And in Sandboxy, uh, they, they want you to buy it, but you can download it for free. And make sure you get the version that corresponds to your version of Windows that you're currently running because I did run into a problem early on. I was an early adopter of Windows 10 and uh, some of those older versions of Sandboxy did not support Windows 10 so I wasn't able to use it. However now there is a version that supports it so you can easily download it uh, by clicking uh, this click here button or you can go over to the download page and select uh, from various mirrors. Now once you have downloaded the application, simply you know, navigate to the folder you have downloaded it to. In most computers it will be your downloads folder. Um, I stuck it here on my scratch disk. We're just going to do a standard installation. You don't have to worry too much about Sandboxy. All the defaults pretty much work for it really haven't had any problem with that. Uh, there is a driver installation that needs to be done but uh, I think it was already installed um, because I've installed Sandboxy before so we didn't have to go over that. If you do run into a, a problem if things are acting up, uh, try restarting your computer once before running into any problems. Well, so yeah, this doesn't look all that inspiring, right? Um, I'm just going to close this window now and Sandboxy will hide, it will, it will minimize the taskbar down here. And now I'm going to navigate to the folder that the Stronghold Kingdoms executable is stored in. You can easily find this file by right clicking on the shortcut on your desktop and then clicking uh, locate file or find file location, something like that. But in, the, in this case, you don't need to do that. You can simply redo what I'm doing here. Uh, is run a Sandbox should appear in your context menu after you have successfully installed Sandboxy. If it isn't there, try restarting your computer first before doing additional troubleshooting. So what I'm going to do is just uh, click it, run it in the Sandbox. If you are using the free version of Sandboxy and you have been using it for uh, over 30 days, you will run into this little screen it's no big deal all it's doing is saying uh, you know pay up or wait a few seconds it's not that big of an issue so now you can see right here I have my original stronghold kingdoms client and a second one running in sandboxy is launching in the background now sandboxy is an isolated client so any information that you put into it um, is going to be isolated from the rest of your system which could be a problem if you're working with formations and stuff because once you clear the sandbox all those formations will be deleted okay so all right I hear you have two instances of stronghold kingdoms running on the same desktop now it should be noted that this works best with the uh, standalone stronghold kingdoms client downloadable for free from uh, the main Stronghold Kingdom site, strongholdkingdoms.com. I can't attest to how well it works or doesn't work with various clients. I know for a fact it won't work with Steam very easily because you will likely have to launch Steam in Sandboxy and I'm not sure how that's going to work. But uh, what I'm using here is just the, the, the client you can download straight from the Stronghold Kingdoms website regardless of where you live, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm going to log, oops, uh, okay, I, I'm in one world, I'm in world five of that one, and I'm going to have to log out and log back in. Uh, log out and log back in on my second client, okay, that is done, and I'm going to choose a, a different world for my, my original one my original instance of Stronghold Kingdoms. Now this is uh, one important thing you have to note is that uh, you can only 
have one client in one world at one time. So if what I do is, if I try to log into world 5 with both of them, the original one will get kicked out of that world. So anybody coming up with any clever ideas, uh, just uh, postpone those because it's not going to work. Yeah, so now you might be wondering. Uh, so here I am in two different worlds, same desktop. Uh, if you have a 4K display, it's going to be the space is going to be a little bit more manageable because right now, even at their smallest width, they're overlapping a little bit. Uh, but one, the reason you might want to do this is because if you are fighting wars on multiple worlds, it is a, there. It's a hassle to have to swap to log in and log out multiple times each day. Not to not only that, but if you have in, uh, attacks incoming, they will not display <laughs> because you're not logged into the world. So by running multiple instances of the same client on your desktop, you can keep an eye on all of the worlds that you are currently active in, and uh, yeah, defend against attacks or just keep your scouts and merchants running. If you if you're you know, if one world is going a little slower, you can sort of multitask between two worlds. It's all around a legitimate strategy. This is not considered against the rules of Stronghold Kingdoms in any way. Just remember, this: just because you can do this doesn't mean you're allowed to use multiple accounts in the same world to do this, which is probably why, my, uh, probably why Firefly moved to restricting the number of client instances you could run in the beginning so you know uh, keep in mind that when you're doing this it's something that stronghold or firefly god i just can't get that right it's something that firefly doesn't want you to do but uh it's not really against the rules at all if you are doing it and as i've pointed out there are some very legitimate reasons why you might choose to do so so anyway i hope you have found this helpful uh if you have any questions or if any any problems crop up do feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below this video and i will do my best to respond to them as always thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time stronghold kingdoms the battle has just begun